Hey Luke here with the law firm of Nichols and Green and this little car part could land you in jail. I'm going to explain what this is, how it can get you in trouble, and what you can do to make sure that this doesn't cause you a very bad day. This little car part right here is a speedometer sensor. On one end it has these gears that are turned by the vehicle's axle or wheels and on this end it's got a digital output and it takes the analog motion of the car turns it into a digital reading that goes to the console and the speedometer in your car tells you how fast you are going and when this sucker breaks it can cause you big trouble and that's exactly what happened with this vehicle part right here if you look closely you can tell that one of the teeth on the top of the plastic gear is sheared off right there Yep, it's just one little tooth on one little plastic gear broke off and it caused this sensor to become defective. This sensor was from an Acura TL, a 2003 model, and this one little bit of damage to this gear caused the speedometer sensor to be off 24 miles per hour. One broken tooth on one plastic gear in this little speedometer sensor causes the driver's speedometer to be 24 miles per hour low. That means when the driver thought they were doing 60 miles per hour, they were actually doing 84. Their speedometer would tell them one speed and their car would be driving another. This puts them at high risk for being pulled over for any type of speeding offense. And here in Virginia, driving more than 80 miles per hour or more than 20 miles per hour over the speed limit is a criminal offense, not a speeding ticket, criminal offense. Up to 12 months in jail, six month loss of license, two and a half thousand dollar fine, and a permanent criminal record. The driver of this car, the owner of this Acura TL 2003, thought they were driving 74 in a 65, a speed at which normally you wouldn't get a ticket. But in actuality, the officer believed they were going 98 miles per hour. That's a big deal. And at 98 miles per hour, courts routinely put people in jail and take their license away for six months. New drivers and people driving vehicles they're not familiar with are most susceptible to speedometer errors. A new driver doesn't really know what 60 miles per hour should feel like. And so they rely solely on the speedometer. And if the speedometer's off, they're off. Additionally, when you get in a new car, each car has a different feel, okay? And so if you're used to driving an old jalopy and you get into a nice car, you can't feel how fast you're going, so you rely on the speedometer. Or if you're used to driving something low to the ground and you get in an SUV or a pickup, it feels a lot slower than it really is, and you end up being completely reliant on the speedometer. If the speedometer is off, then you end up making a mistake that can cost you. So there's a lot of ways that you can prevent speedometer errors and detect speedometer errors. The first way is to check the speedometer with an app or a GPS device. When you get into a new car or you want to check your, car, your current car, put your GPS on and make sure that it displays your ground speed in your GPS. Then go out, put your car on the highway, set the cruise control at a legal speed, something nice and round like 50 miles per hour or 60 miles per hour. Hold that speed for a little bit and compare your GPS. If the speedometer and the GPS don't match, there's probably something wrong with your speedometer. You can also do this with many free apps. I think Waze has a speedometer uh, setting on it and there's a lot of free speedometer, speedometer apps you can get. So check this every once in a while. Speedometers tend to degrade over time. Or if you change the size of wheels that you put on your car, like you get a nice truck and you decide to put some big wheels on it, this will completely mess up your speedometer readings. So check this routinely just to make sure that you're actually going the speed you think you're going. If you see something wrong, take it to a mechanic to have it tested properly. If you're unfortunate enough to get ticketed for speeding or reckless driving and you find out after the fact that your speedometer is inaccurate, there's something you can do to help your case. Go and take your car and get the speedometer calibrated by a professional. Take it to a mechanic, have them put the car up on the dynamometer and have them write up an invoice or a diagnostic uh, certificate 
a calibration certificate of some sort showing how many miles per hour off your speedometer is and have them check it at various speeds because often the higher the speed the greater the error of a speedometer have them check it at various speeds and bring that certificate or attestation to court or give it to your attorney and they can try to use that to help you in court each state has different rules regarding speeding and the admissibility of these certificates so consult a local attorney about the rules in your state and how to use this to help you in your case if you're in the state of virginia and you're in northern virginia and you're charged with a speeding or reckless driving offense feel free to call the law firm of Nichols and Green for a free consultation. We'd be glad to help you out with your case. We only practice in Northern Virginia though. So if you're in another state, contact a local attorney in the area where you were ticketed and they can help you out too. If you wanna protect yourself, your kids, your spouse, your employees from unwarranted traffic tickets, there's a lot of things you can do, including checking your speedometer. Get a dash camera. They're very inexpensive. A high-end dash camera will run you a little over $200. A low end one's about 50. They, not only do they take great high definition and video of what's going on in front of you, you can also get them that record sound, that record video of what's going on inside the car, and almost all of them will record GPS location and speed. So if you get ticketed for speeding and you know you weren't speeding, you can pull the dash camera footage off and see what your actual speed is measured by GPS. They're really easy to install. A lot of them you just plug into the cigarette lighter or you can take them to a place that installs radios and stereo equipment and get it professionally installed with all the wires hidden for usually about 70 bucks. Additionally, there are tracking devices that you can put in your car to help monitor and record your speed. These devices um, cost about 20 bucks a month. One of the companies that puts them out is masstrack.com. I'll put a link in the description. And this device measures G-forces, speed, the speed limit where you're at, and the time, all of that stuff is saved. Every minute the car is moving, a data point is saved online. And if there's an incident, a real-time text message can be sent to a phone to alert the owner of the car. So if your child has borrowed your car and he or she is speeding out on the highway, you can be alerted and catch them and stop them before the police do. And it's a great tool for employers as well. Additionally, if you are falsely accused of speeding, you can pull up your data and show your exact ground speed and verify what you were actually doing. If you want to avoid a speeding ticket, the number one thing you can do is not speed. But also, check your speedometer regularly, install a dash camera on your car, and think about including a tracking device if you're gonna be loaning your car out to children or employees. Hopefully, if you do those things, you won't end up needing our services. However, if you or someone you love has been charged with a criminal or traffic offense here in Northern Virginia, call the law firm of Nichols & Green. We'd be happy to give you a free consultation in person or over the phone. And if you've been ticketed outside of Northern Virginia, make sure to call an attorney that's local to the area where you got your ticket. Most attorneys will do free consultations. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more great, fun, and informative videos from the law firm of Nichols & Green, check out our YouTube channel, click subscribe, and we have videos from everything from how breathalyzers mess up to how to beat speeding tickets. We, we got it all. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you need our help, don't forget to call the number below. Thank you.